One of the questions that people ask me often about homeschooling is what curriculum we use. And so today I decided to share with you the curriculum that we have chosen to use for kindergarten and grade one. And we have chosen to use the accelerated Christian education curriculum. And I'm excited to tell you more about it. Hi, my name is Susie and welcome to our homestead. On this channel, we're all about organizing our homes, prioritizing our homes and budgetizing at home. So if this is the kind of content that you would find useful, please consider subscribing and sharing this with a friend. There are many curriculums available to homeschool, but after much research and after talking to a lot of people, we settled on accelerated Christian education as a curriculum that we wanted to use in our homeschool for kindergarten and grade one. Now, this is an American curriculum that, but we can easily access all the materials that we need right here in Kenya because we have an overall body that facilitates accelerated Christian education in Kenya. When you go to the accelerated Christian education website, I love the way they describe this curriculum because it hits at the very heart of what we aim to achieve in our family and with our children. Let me read for you what it says. That accelerated Christian education is aimed at equipping parents in the training of their children with a godly character building academic curriculum in a Bible based individualized system of learning. So and this really just explains exactly what we want. We felt that we wanted for our children. Number one, first and foremost, we wanted a curriculum that emphasizes not just the academic part of learning, but also the character building part of education because we felt like we don't just want our children to grow up and be professionals in any area really but it also matters to us what kind of men and what kind of women they were going to be when they grow up so we felt that you wanted to find a curriculum that will develop and produce a wholesome individual not just academically but also character wise and spiritually and you know physically sports wise and all that and we felt and we found that accelerated christian education is one of the best when it comes to especially character building and just teaching children how to be just good human beings one other thing that we really liked about ace as it is known is that it goes with each child's ability. It is very learner centered. So it's not just about having the children in a classroom setting where, you know, they all go together at one pace, but no child is left behind in accelerated Christian education. They actually go at the child's pace because each child learns how to work individually at their own pace. So that if one, if let's say for example, in a classroom setting, what happens is that if one child is understanding the subject matter faster than the others, you see the teachers have a curriculum to stick to. They have a curriculum to finish by the end of the year and they will tend sometimes to just move with those who are understanding and others get left behind. But ACE focuses on each child's individual ability. So the child does not move to the next level until they have mastered the level at which they are. They are. And we have found it to be so good, especially in the foundational years, because you know, foundation is so important. If that child does not understand their one, two, threes, and they don't understand simple addition, as you continue building in the, in the curriculum, that child will struggle. So ACE emphasizes that each child has to master the level that they're at before they go to the next level. And if one child masters one level before the others, that's fine, that child moves on as the other one continues until they master it and then they can move on. So as I'm saying, it's really good because it is very learner-centered. Each child is taken at their own pace. So how we started the ACE curriculum was we registered at the School of Tomorrow, which is the umbrella body that facilitates the people who choose to homeschool using the ACE curriculum here in Kenya. And then once we were registered, my husband, who is a primary, primary homeschooler, went for training because you see, it's a, it's a different curriculum than what we are used to and it is really basically very different from the way we were taught in school. So you need to be trained. So my husband went for training, took about two weeks of training and then after that 
we were divided into regions so we joined the region from where we live the, okay the whole ace system is divided according to where people live so we have our home school and then we have a bigger group according to where we live and then these groups these groups have a facilitator so we have a facilitator for our region who ensures that we are following the protocol according to the training and that if we're having any struggles we are able to contact her and she just she works with us throughout the homeschooling journey and we also as a group as a region the, the homeschools in our region we also organize for activities for the kids so we have sports days we have praise giving days we have sports which is really good because then it keeps it ensures a holistic development of the child right now we are currently homeschooling officially only one child and that is our firstborn son who is right now in grade one but unofficially our four-year-olds also like to attend class and they they just like to do coloring painting and and just numbers and and all that so the 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 kindergarten and grade one curriculum is actually under ac it's taken under one unit and when my husband went for training that's what they did for he did he was trained specifically for this particular unit of of homeschooling and then before he goes before our son goes into grade two my husband will go for another training just to keep just to keep up to date and i really like that about ace because they really they ensure that you as a homeschooler are well equipped to take that child to take that child through their education and it's really been amazing because for me it shows that they really care about the quality of education that your child is getting now i want to show you the materials that we use in homeschooling our son who is in grade one ace has a very interesting type of of learning because everything is presented in these booklets which are known as paces and pace just basically the the acronym pace stands for packet of accelerated christian education so as you can see i don't know whether you, you can see that it comes with his name so he writes his name and right now in grade one we are doing four subjects so this is animal science and uh, we have math and we have word building and we have bible reading okay then so he will write in the he will actually do his work inside the book itself so the book is actually a record we actually keep a record of what he is doing these books cannot be recycled well if you want you can you can rub them and because they they only write in pencil but we ideally intend to have just each child to have their own pace and as i say what i like about ace is that it goes with the child's pace all right so he will just go into his work into each class he has a number of pages right now he's still he's still working under supervision he is learning how to write and he's also learning simple math this is in grade one in kindergarten he was mostly learning about uh letter recognition and sounds and one thing that is so amazing about ace is that the child learns how to read and write in such an amazing way so such that by the time the child is in grade two or three they can basically read for you any word in the english language so i really 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 appreciate their just the way they, they go about it is really amazing so those are the paces that he is currently doing uh so that's what building i love 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 bible reading because he is getting really familiar with just knowing his bible inside out because as i said for us it was not just we did not just want our son to learn how to 
how to read and write but we also really want to learn about uh, character and about God and yeah we really just appreciate that about accelerated Christian education and as I mentioned in my previous video about seven things I did not know before we started homeschooling one of the main points was that we don't have to have it all figured out so we know for sure that we would like to homeschool our children using the accelerated Christian education for this level but as they grow older we will still we want to be free to choose and decide which curriculum we want to use so we are not necessarily going to be using ACE throughout and we're not even necessarily going to be homeschooling throughout we just want to go step by step and go as the Lord leads us but we know for sure that for this level of learning and this age of our children we want to be the ones who are homeschooling them so this is his math face yeah as you can see he was just I think this he did to today what date was this I don't remember but yeah this is basically what our first grader is doing right now uh, so that's math I am personally very impressed at the kind of math he's doing in at six I don't recall myself doing this kind of math but maybe the education system has changed everywhere and this is animal science so yeah as you can see it's pretty nice I really like it I really like it uh, let me show you a page that um, yeah they learned so much about animals and this nature which is really cool all right and lastly what i wanted to share with you was this what we call the supervisor's manual so after you go for training you get a supervisor's manual and this basically tells you exactly what you're going to teach your child for every day you're not having to come up with oh today's lesson and everything they literally tell you like word for word this is what you're going to do on day one day two day three first the child does this then the teacher says this then like that it even tells you what kind of activities that you're going to have in class that day so i really love this because especially if you haven't done homeschooling before you're not trying to figure your way around it and at every level of course you will get a new manual depending on on the level that your child is in so for example let me read for you this is uh they were doing the ostrich sounds all the sounds are correlated with the ostrich sound so you have I mean, all the sounds all the letters and sounds are connected to an animal so we have the ostrich sounds the mule sound first of all you guys they are like three a's you know the way us guys know there was a b c d so then they have they will have what the, the armadillo sound and you have the ape sound and you have the let me see okay there are two A's sorry there are two A's so one is for ape and the other one is for the armadillo for the letter I they have the one for the ibex and they have the inchworm so as in you, you know i find that so amazing so the child is able to tell like i for ice cream and i for inches the two different eyes i hope that makes sense i mean ace is really amazing at this level so let me read for you like for example on this class they were having they were doing the ostrich sound that day so the manual tells you opening activities always welcome the child with a smile then you do your pledges share take attendance and have a prayer for each student then the next activity is listen to and sing the alphabet song the curriculum also comes with media and songs and tells you teaches you the songs that the child is supposed to sing there's a by the way a lot of singing in ace which is good because it helps the information to stick in the child's mind as at this level of kindergarten and grade one they learn best using music and songs then after that it tells you review of previously learned letters and it tells you exactly which letter that you're going to review 
it says sing the cartoon animal song there's a song to, for this particular sound which is an ostrich sound so there's a song for the ostrich and then it tells you do at least one inside physical development activity to prepare students for a listening period and it shows you have a number of physical activities to choose from then you go along it keeps guiding you and telling you exactly what to do at which stage and at which level then here you have a com comprehension where you're learning about oliver ostrich so you have a story that you read as the teacher and then you have comprehension questions that you ask literally what i love about ace is that you're not having to come up with things everything is written out for you literally word for word so by the time the child is done by the time you're done with this level by the time you're done with this class for this day you have accomplished so much and you as a teacher really all you have to do is to know how to read so you just read these and then you have to go through it with the child so it's really really amazing we have found it to be so good for the child there we have it guys that's just a brief introduction of accelerated christian education and just explaining why we decided to use it for homeschooling our children for kindergarten and grade one and the last thing that I want to add about ACE, which is what I think I love the most about it, and I think I might have mentioned it before, is the character development in the children. I mean, it is absolutely invaluable. I have met kids who have gone through the ACE curriculum and you can always tell them. You can always tell them in any crowd, this child has gone through accelerated Christian education because it is so important in the curriculum itself to teach these children kindness to teach them honesty to teach them you know all those values that we want our children to have and what they actually do is they take one value and they focus on that one value throughout a whole term let's say for example this time we're learning about kindness actually this time they're learning about being helpful and it's just being you know re-emphasizing the child that you need to be helpful you need to be helpful it's in every by the way in every pace and in every subject there's that theme of being helpful when they're doing animal science there's something about helpfulness math helpfulness bible reading helpfulness word building helpfulness so that by the time the the child is done with this term something has clicked that you know what it is important and it is good to be helpful so you can always really tell a child who has gone through ACE and I absolutely would recommend it hands down especially for this level of schooling the only drawback that I have with ACE in Kenya is that it does not have Kiswahili and for that for us of course that is very important so what we have decided to do we have decided to supplement the Kiswahili learning with other books and other curriculums especially the new cbc curriculum that we have in kenya it is really good so we want and we are planning to supplement that as we continue with ace up to the level which we will decide to change if that level ever comes so yeah that's it guys that's it for ace and its curriculum for kindergarten and grade one i really hope you found this helpful please share with a friend and if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you on the next one. Bye.